Hi everyone, so this video is going to be the requested video for the Black Shatter Crackle Nail Polish comparison. Um, just before we get started, lipstick is NYX Rose. Love this colour. So to go through the shatters that I am comparing, they are all black because I had four blacks in four different brands and four different price ranges as well. Now I'll go through the price first and where you can get them. If you're interested in where I buy my nail polish from, just check out below because there'll be a link to the where I buy my stuff video, which will always tell you where I buy my stuff. So the first is the BYS. Now you can't really read the label because it's black, which I think is pretty silly, but yeah, it's black on black. So the recommended retail price for the BYS is $4.95, so around $5 Australian. I know you can get these from Kmart stores and some hot dollar or like dollar shops sell BYS as well. So these are, I think they come in a couple of colours, um, red and purple, I'm not sure if there's a white, but this one is the black BYS crackle. Next is the La Rosa crackle. Um, it's called Crackle Shatter Nail Lacquer, and it's by La Rosa. Now this particular um, brand I pick up from my beauty supply store, which if you watch my Where I Buy My Stuff, it'll have the details for that. Um, I think I pay $8 for these ones, um, but I have absolutely no idea how much they retail for. I tried to look online, but I couldn't find them, um, so they're on eBay as well if you're interested in trying out this brand um, but yeah so that is the La Rosa Crackle Shatter and they come in heaps of colours as well like pink, blue, green, yellow, purple, um, metallic pink, all sorts of colours. The next one is China Glaze and again I don't know why they keep putting black labels on to a black polish it seems a bit strange but uh, China Glaze retails for around $14 Australian you can buy it online from a couple of the places um, I buy it from my beauty supply store again so that's the China Glaze it also comes in quite a few colors um, so pink grey blue purple white black and there could be a couple more but those are the ones that I know of for sure and last but not least is the OPI um, Shatter, Black Shatter. This definitely comes in a lot of colours which you would have seen in one of my latest hauls. Um, this recommended retail is $20. These are probably the easiest ones to find at the moment at least anyway, but they are the most expensive. So it's $20. So in comparison to the BYS it's $15 more expensive. So I will show you the comparisons between them. And I've actually applied them in three different ways. So it's not just a plain swipe, 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 done comparison. I've done a crisscross and I've also done horizontal, not just vertical, up and down the nail. So let's get started. Okay, so the first lot of swatches I'm going to show you. So this is just applying it as you would from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom nothing special this is the way that you would normally apply it now this top one is the china glaze the next one is la rosa the next one is opi and the last one is bys now as you can see the bys doesn't crackle as much as the others the opi looks very very similar to the china glaze they've kind of got long and stringy crackles me personally, out of all through, out of all four, I prefer the La Rosa. It kind of crackles in sort of more square shapes than the OPI and the China Glaze, but the BYS does give a really good effect too. Um, note the BYS don't apply it incredibly thick because this one takes a very long time to dry. Now just a tip, if you are going to use the BYS, you have to be very patient. It takes a very long time to crack. So another tip is if you've got a heater near you um, or a hairdryer, put it on low heat and just hold your nails in front of it. Then it will force the nail polish to dry a lot faster and it will actually crack 
Um, it's, it takes a bit of getting used to, a bit of trial and error, but don't make it too thick. With the BYS it is very important to only do one swipe and do not go over it again, otherwise it won't crack. Um, but, as you can see, it does crack quite nicely. But this I actually painted on the nail and held it in front of my um, heater, so that's how I got it to crack up a bit faster, otherwise it would take too long. Now the next application is horizontal, so if it was on my nail it would be going from side to side, just like that. Now starting again from the top, this one's trying to glaze, then La Rosa, OPI and BYS. So BYS, OPI, La Rosa and China Glaze. Now out of these I'd have to say I actually prefer the China Glaze or the La Rosa again. OPI is pretty cool, it turned out kind of like zebra stripes and the BYS because in this direction it overlapped a little more, you get very little shattering. But, you know, some people like the look of a really thick, black, non-shattered shatter. <laughs> but yeah, my personal pick would be the China Glaze. Only because I like the way that it's cracked. That's the first one there. Looks very similar to the La Rosa. And the OPI is again a bit thin and a little bit stringy. But that in itself, this one here, if you're going for more of a zebra kind of pattern, that would work really well. The last way is a crisscross. So basically on the nail, I went up and down, up and down. So it kind of crisscrossed over each other. Now that one, we've got China Glaze, La Rosa, OPI and BYS. So it's backwards for this one. So China Glaze, La Rosa, OPI and BYS. I think again, when you're doing the crisscross, the OPI again is a little bit more stringy than the others. The BYS is definitely still thick and chunky. And the China Glaze and La Rosa are very comparable. So if you cannot get your hands on La Rosa, you can definitely use China Glaze. They are very similar overall. Out of all four, I um, probably like the China Glaze a little bit more than La Rosa, just because it was a lot easier to apply, but the results are almost identical. They look very, very similar. The OPI is nice, but you do get some bits that are kind of stringy. The OPI is definitely a thinner consistency to the China Glaze and the La Rosa and the BYS is very very thick so again you have to be very patient and it does take a long time to crack. So overall my favourite crackles would have to be the La Rosa would be number one but only just and I do know that it's, it's probably the most difficult one to find um, so if you can find it I would definitely recommend it because it is a really really good crackle. Second place is China Glaze. So China Glaze is a little bit more accessible, easier to find. It is very, very comparable to the La Rosa in a lot of those different applications. Color range, you still get a decent color range as you do in La Rosa. And so I would recommend that as my second pick. Third, I would pick the most expensive crackle is the OPI. The OPI is quite thin. It is easy to work with and I do like the brush to apply this. You don't need to go over it too many times because it's quite a thick brush. The crackle itself is a bit stringy. I think it is because it is such a thin varnish. It, you could probably apply more to the brush and apply it thicker and then you wouldn't get thin stringy crackles. But for the price, I do, com I do prefer the other two over this one because this one is pretty much twice the price as the La Rosa and the China, China Glaze. Um, so yeah, this is my third pick and that's the OPI. And last is the BYS. It's not a bad shatter. It is very difficult to work with and it takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of patience. It does take a long time to shatter. But for the money, it's $5. You can get it at Kmart and Kmart's open like 24 hours in Australia in a lot of the places. So. If you need crackle polish and it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you can just go there and get it. <laughs> For $5, it's still a decent crackle. It takes a bit of getting used to, 
um, but I still would use it. It does have its own purpose. If you're going for a specific look, you definitely still can use the BYS. It is just a lot thicker and you're not going to get as much of the colour showing through. So, if you prefer that, you've got the cheapest one at $5, so that's always a good thing. So thank you all for watching, I hope you found this helpful. Keep the requests coming as well, um, if you want to see anything else, um, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you got something from it, um, but yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you guys again soon, bye.